power app solutions in minutes uh, in this lesson three of SSIS and data migration um, what we're going to do is go ahead and create accounts from an Excel data source in Dynamics 365 and we're also going to then create the contacts and associate them to those prior created accounts um, in the system so we'll learn a little bit about a couple different concepts here um, it should be a quick video all right, so let's open up Visual Studio. Um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to create a data flow task for the accounts. And in here, we're going to go ahead and add in an Excel source. We'll configure our Excel source using our connection manager and the Excel sheet that we actually are using. Here's our columns, right, from previous video, first name, last name, email mobile phone and company name. The only one that's of interest to us right now is company name. We're just going to build these accounts out based on company name and that's it. Just get them in there. Um, and then um, for our destination we'll use a dynamic CRM destination node. And then I'm going to go ahead and connect these together. <clears throat> okay. And then inside our destination all we have to do is to find our connection manager for dynamics it's going to be a create event and it'll be accounts and then the only column we're going to map is the name to company name hit OK then we'll execute our task <clears throat> all right so it looks like we got five rows in let's find out and there we have it, company A, company B, C, D, and E. I nuked the accounts from before. They're no longer in here. So now we're going to bring them in. So what we'll do is we'll stop this debugger. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, create another control flow. Think of these as like little SSIS um, data flows that govern the different tasks. So for example, this one could be called account creation. Uh, and usually accounts are the first entity you create in Dynamics because that ends up being the roll-up entity to, for every other related record in some way, right? Um, not always, but in most cases. So uh, we're going to go ahead and create another data flow task here. This one's going to be for the contacts. And what we'll do is, once again, you probably guessed it, an Excel source. And then we'll um, go ahead and add in a Dynamics 365 destination. Now in here is where we're going to do something called the derived column. And what's really cool about derived column is you essentially set up a static column. It could be based on a, a source as well, but... Um, We'll go ahead and configure this, and I'll show you kind of how cool it is that the ability to statically define some of these parameters that are in part of the data set, like parent customer ID type is what we're going to use this for. So for Excel source, we're going to go ahead and uh, once again define our Excel file, confirm that our columns are what we need. Okay, great. So now we're creating contacts. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to pass in the Excel source data to the derived column first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create something called parent customer ID type. It'll be a brand new column. And all I'm going to do here is basically say it's an account. So I'm going to pass in a string account. And that's going to serve a purpose here. So then from the derived column, I'll then connect that back to the destination. We'll configure our destination connection manager. We're okay with a create action. We'll talk about upserts in other videos. Upserts are a lot of fun because you have to set up unique identifiers, make sure you can connect to those keys. So I'll show that in another video. Now, so we're going to create contact. <clears throat> and then the columns, we're going to fill out what, what we did in our previous video, but just slightly different this time. So we got the email address, which is coming from the email address column in the Excel file. We have the first name, 
we have the last name, we have the mobile phone, and then where it gets interesting is the parent customer ID right here. This is actually that traditional field called company name inside Dynamics on a contact record. It's really just parent customer ID. We'll do company name. Now obviously you can't put an input of a string to pass in into a GUID column, right? Impossible. It's just not going to work like that. Because uh, company name is a literal name of a company and parent customer ID is expecting, you know, a GUID, a GUID. So what we'll do here to get around that is we'll do a text lookup. We'll hit these little three dots. <clears throat> and then we'll choose our target fields. And the lookup method is going to be manually specify. And we know that we're pointing at the name field. And that's it. Similar to when you do a data import. And we'll check write null on empty value. That's it. So we hit OK on this. Hit OK on our job. And then let's go ahead and run this and see what happens. All right. So it looks like we got five rows into the database. Let's see if we got the right ones in. And there you have it. So you have contact A, B, C, a D, and E and they're connected to company A, B, C, D, and E. So there's literally a relationship here. We've created the relationship. We have all the data mapped. And if we open up this company, we can see we have a child contact inside of it. We even have <laughs> the task created by the um, plugin. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. Everything is ready to roll. Um, and uh, that's all I have to show you for today. Thank you so much for watching.